How to speak in visual language? Most of us take pictures because we intuitively want to create. It is how we can express our thoughts and feelings about things. We can communicate how we see and feel about the world. For me, communicating through impressionist photography is challenging but exciting. The diversity of techniques and approaches allows me to express a rich array of moods and emotions. There is immense freedom to work with precision and control or to try a spontaneous experimental approach. I feel like I can fully express myself through Impressionist photography. The success in your photography depends on you, your eye, your knowledge and your ideas. The challenge is how to translate your ideas into an image successfully. How do you make yourself heard through your images? How do you start communicating through your pictures? Begin by ensuring that you speak in visual language. Since you are the one initiating the conversation, you have a responsibility to your viewers to use the visual language well. The more extensive your vocabulary is, the more expressive and creative you can communicate what you want to say. So, what is visual language? What are the words you can use in your images? Just as in verbal communication, visual communication requires a language or vocabulary that connects the artist with the viewers. What is expressed in language through words in visual communication may be expressed through the choice of light, lines and color. Each of these elements has a unique way of expressing feelings and emotions. To be truly effective, you need to be clear about your message and make sure the use of the light, lines, shapes and color in your images are consistent with that message. Understanding how light works is essential for communicating your idea. Light gives depth, dimension and life to your image. Lines give structure and also can be used to guide the viewer's eye through the image. Color influences the way ideas are presented and the mood of a photograph. Color can also direct the eye by emphasizing different parts of the image. To speak the visual language well, you need as much knowledge as possible about line, lines and color and how they can be used effectively. You need to develop a patience that it takes to express your subjects. This means looking deeply at these subjects. Every photograph also needs a good composition or arrangements of elements. A poor composition will stop your idea from having the desired effect. The image may end up confusing to the viewer. When photographing, you can easily get overwhelmed by the amount of information in front of you. While all the information may be intriguing, it won't necessarily contribute to a good image. So it is essential, especially when it comes to Impressionist photography, to learn to see and simplify the subject so you can effectively translate them into your images. The physical characteristic of your subject should give you composition and choice of a technique. Everything you include in your image, it's a choice. All elements can help you tell a story or express ideas. 
When you learn to look at all elements in the frame and see how they relate to each other, you begin to understand your surroundings better. Play with lines, color and light. Slow down and take time to frame the moments. Concentrate and isolate the subject you are trying to capture. Experiment and have fun. When you became so familiar with the visual language by practicing it, this language will become a fundamental part of how you consciously view the beauty all around you, all the time. You will see the images naturally and easily because you train yourself to do so. If you want to be fluent in the visual language and need some help, check out my online courses, The Art of Seeing or The Visual Language of Abstract Photography. You can find the links in the description below. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.